I'm just about to reveal the top three AI art generators that you can use for free, so let's get started. The very first one of them is DALI2, and that's for a good reason. First off, this is a tool developed by OpenAI.com, just like ChatGPT, which I'm pretty sure you've heard of. And DALI2 can do some amazing things. It can indeed generate images from scratch with a text description, as you can see right here. I can ask it to imagine some teddy bears shopping for groceries, in ancient Egypt. And there you have it. That is pretty cool, isn't it? And we've also got a few different variations to that. So it's not just one image. The things you can do are pretty impressive to say the least. But there is another feature that I'm interested in which really stands out. And that is the fact that it can expand images beyond what's in the original canvas. You can literally take a famous painting and keep on improving it. You can recreate the whole scene, the whole background, and DALI 2 will help you out with that. And that opens up a very unique possibility. For instance, you can connect to a place like Fiverr.com, set up a gig, accept custom orders from people, and then complete their portraits. You can ask DALI 2 to imagine the setting, and you can turn that reference picture into a very cool result. Not only that, but you can even use it for interior design, as you can see right here. This was the original image, and this is what DALI 2 added, as you can spot. And that's just one example. We've got all sorts of different variations here as well. Here's another example. This was the original picture. And these are the changes that DALI 2 made to it. I'm pretty sure you can spot the differences here. Not only that, but you can even take an image as reference and create different variations of it inspired by the original. And this is just one example. And here is another one right here. It can do a pretty awesome job. Now, to answer the question, is DALI 2 actually free? Can you use it without spending a single dollar? Well, you can actually use it for free, but there's a catch. You're only allowed to use 50 free credits. And so you will only get a limited number of images after which you would have to upgrade. But that means you can connect to DALI 2 right now to openai.com and start playing around with this tool in order to see what it can do. And you won't have to pay a single dollar. Moving on to the next one, this is actually a very unique tool that has been around for quite some time, but it is getting better and better every day. And it is the Art Breather. Now, as soon as you connect to artbreather.com, you're gonna notice that it has two different main sections, two different functionalities. The first one of them allows you to make a simple collage from shapes and images, describe it with a prompt, as you can see right here on the right hand side. And so Art Breather is going to bring it to life. Needless to say, it does a great job. But I think that the so-called splicer is a little bit more interesting than that because it has the capability to breathe portraits into one new image. You can literally upload two or more different images and it is going to merge them together into a new unique result. And once again, that allows you to do some really cool things. For instance, you can take custom orders from people, they can send you pictures of them and their spouses, and you can show them a sneak peek of what their child will look like by combining the two portraits. And that's a really cool gift. Let's actually give it a try. What you need to do is create an account, unless you already have one, or just log into yours. You can also do that with Google, with just a few clicks. In the meantime, do not worry about it. Art Breather is actually free and it does give you unlimited images. So there's no catch here. If you do want to upgrade to a paid membership, it will give you faster renderings and no waiting times and a few other features, but it is free and it does provide you with unlimited tries. So that's pretty good. In the meantime, let me just show you what it can do. And this is just a sneak peek. Now guys, remember, I wanna test the splicer here. And you've got a few different options, ranging from characters to general items, landscapes, buildings, or portraits. And let's just pick that one. What you can do is add the first parent, and I'm just gonna upload this one, and then let's upload the second parent. There you have it. Now this is just the first iteration, so it's not perfect yet. Because Art Breather allows you to play around with the features and fine tune the result until it looks good. So what I'm going to do now is just play around with the features until I'm satisfied with the result. And you've got the option to add blue eyes if you want to. You can play around with the expression or the emotion of that person. I mean, look at this. You can even make them angry if you want to. But that is a little bit exaggerated. So you may want to keep that within decent parameters. You can modify the brightness or saturation of the image, the color, the race of that person too, or the gender and age. And this is where you can have a little bit of fun. This would make a great gift to a couple. Again, it 
Imagine that you have a gig on Fiverr or any other freelancing website and you're allowing people to send custom orders. They send in two selfies just like these and they want to get a sneak peek of what their child would look like. And this is the result. That's pretty good actually. It's actually not too far-fetched because Artbreeder actually takes those two different pictures and merges them together. So it is going to resemble both parents, which is going to create a very interesting effect on your customers. And once you're done with designing that picture, you can even print it onto a canvas for your customer. And you can do that using printing on demand services. You can connect to websites like Redbubble or Printful, and it shouldn't be too difficult. So needless to say, Artbreeder can do some amazing things. It does actually stand out from the crowd. It does stand out from the other AI art generators because it offers these unique features, right? But I believe that the best AI art generator, and this is just my personal opinion from using it, is Midjourney. What you want to do is connect to midjourney.com and then click on join the beta. And keep in mind, this is just the beta phase. I honestly believe that the only limitation with Midjourney is your imagination. It can literally do anything you ask it. Now, as soon as you click on join the beta, that's going to send you to their Discord server that's got a little bit over 8 million members right now and they are growing. You want to accept the invite and that will send you to Discord. And as soon as you're here, you want to go over to the home section for a second because this is where you get to see the best AI art generated by other users. And some of these will be insane. I mean, this picture right here is generated by AI. There's not a picture, there's not an illustration, that's generated by Midjourney. And as a matter of fact, all of these pictures in various different styles are all the creation of AI. Now, this should be pretty scary for artists. I could keep on scrolling here for ages. You're gonna notice that people are playing around with different styles and aesthetics with different purposes for their AI creation such as commercials, perhaps, or just generating art. The possibilities here are literally endless. So just as mentioned before, the only limitation here is your imagination, because it is up to you to send Midjourney the right instructions if you want to get a result that looks like that. Let me explain. What you want to do now is go over to one of the newcomer rooms, and this is where you get to give it a try. Here's how it works. You've got two different options. You can either upload a pre-existing picture, and Midjourney will use that as reference, or you can type in slash imagine and that will open up the prompt where you can enter in your text description. Let's just give it a go. In this case, I asked you to imagine a wizard as a school principal in ultra details as a hyper realistic, let's also add photorealistic, full HD 8K image. Now, you want to play around with the keywords because that's how you get the best result. You're going to notice that in order to really get the most out of Mid Journey, it is down to you to use the right keywords and parameters. But you can learn that as you go. The more you use it, the better you get at it. Now, Mid Journey will start working on that right away and it shouldn't take longer than 60 seconds to see your result. And I can assure you, it will look pretty good. Again, from my experience, Mid Journey can generate some of the best images on the market in all sorts of different styles. In in this case, this right here is what it came up with. And I gotta tell you, this is not too far from what I asked you to imagine. Now, what you can do next is upscale one of the pictures that you prefer. All you need to do is tap on this option that says you and the corresponding number, and that will upscale the image so you can keep on editing it. You can add a hat if you want to, you can do any other changes. Now, it might get a little bit confusing and frustrating because a lot of other people are using the server at the same time, but I think there are ways around it. I'm just not quite sure. All in all, I genuinely believe that Midjourney can do most of the things that all of the other AI art generators can do, if you're using it properly. Again, the more you play around with Midjourney, the better you understand how it works and how to use all of these parameters that you see other people using to manipulate the results, because that's what this is all about. If you want to get a Result that looks as cool as the ones in the home section, you need to spend some time using the tool. And there's something else worth noting here. Here's the thing. Remember that Midjourney can also use reference pictures. So if you're an artist, what you can do is send it a reference picture, one of your art pieces, and it will keep on improving it. It can make changes, so I think that if you're an artist, you shouldn't necessarily be scared about Midjourney, but you should see the potential in this because you can use it to improve your work within seconds. By the way, this right here is the result after it was upscaled. And what I can do now is click on make variations and Midjourney will come up with four different other variations to that picture. Let's actually see those as well. It's just started working on it and slowly but surely it will deliver. Now, Midjourney is free for the first part. It does allow you to make your first 25 images without paying 
paying a single dollar after which you have to upgrade and i have actually upgraded my plan and it wasn't too expensive it's not gonna be a ripoff and i personally think it's worth it but i'm gonna leave that up to you these are the four variations we were talking about and they are pretty cool and now guys here's the thing when it comes to making money with these tools there are a bunch of different ways to do so if you're already an artist you can use ai in order to improve your work if you're not an artist there are still ways to monetize these artificial intelligence tools for instance you can start a printing on demand business you can set up a gig on fiverr upwork or even on etsy.com and sell custom portraits you can even use ai generators for stock footage so you've got so many different possibilities but that's it for now and thanks for watching